Hello. Hello, 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 hello. I think we're at the controls. Get the good old red enzyme in focus a bit better. The name is Beatty. John Beatty. International Director of the British People's League. And we're off to a wobbly start. Now, the computer was on the blitz. And as a result, I'm not even sure just how wide the, uh, the YouTube's going to take today. Hey, the name is John Beatty. It's August 4th, 2015. This is the British People's League. We're bringing you YouTube, which we entitle Dinosaur News. Dinosaur News, August 4th, 2015. We're entitling today's show In Memory. And we'll get to that in the next 20 minutes. Uh, as I say, uh, the computer crashed, died during the month of July, a good portion of it. We've just managed to get her back to life again, thanks to a Danish-Canadian friend of the British People's League, who spent hours trying to revive the, it's not that old, it's only a five-year-old machine. But in the meantime, I'm noticing that the, the picture shot here for the YouTube is on a much smaller scale. So I'm sure that you all know how to enlarge the YouTuber, and you can enlarge any photo on your computer screen. The bottom right-hand corner, that little wee squarey thing, you click on there, and you can enlarge your, your photos. Of course, this is just me talking to myself about my lack of technical knowledge. <coughs> it's been a while, and the technical aspects, well, they, they, they leave me sometimes. I'm just trying to uh, show the credit to you for the... Uh, Good old red enzyme, which my uh, flock of white gray hair is sort of blocking the uh, the symbols of the British Canadian and French Canadian, Welsh, Irish, Scottish, English, wise people that helped found Canada. How are you today? I think I've already said that. August 4th, 2015. <coughs> so, we said in memorial in memory. Two special birthdays we're going to get to. I'm teasing you a little bit. First off, we're going to uh, plug for our, our, our buddies at Candor. Candor, Fighting Evil. And this is the combined issue of June and July 2015. It's uh, terrific terrific magazine out of Britain, the motherland, to serve as a link between Britons all over the world to protect against the surrender of British world heritage. There's some terrific articles. And on the back, many ads, various different groups, various, various different groups. I even got a good plug for the British People's League. I have to honor my part by doing more of these videos, but I can't help a computer that's half crashed and brought back to life twice by our Danish-Canadian friend. It's a terrific jam-packed issue. You don't want to miss it. It has been received in the mail now around the world. And uh, that's Candor, C-A-N-D-O-U-R, Candor.org. UK, candor.org.uk. From time to time, a little bit disgruntled uh, patriots from Britain, United Kingdom contact, uh, contact us. They'd like a plug for their particular group, patriotic organization, which would be great. But there's so many in Britain because of the invasions from Africa. Uh, underground and above ground, all keeping it legal, of course. But there are so many groups. So do understand that we just can't plug every group on this show. 
just don't have the time to plug every group. And plus, you know, we got to keep an eye on what each group is talking about. Patriots, yes, but there's various degrees of patriotism, and some go right off the deep end. Some groups. <laughs> so don't blame us. We're glad to promote jolly, jolly old Candor, our buddy, our mate. They're neutral as well. They don't promote, say, just one particular patriotic group, or form, or, or uh, political party. There are so many, and they're needed. All of them are needed to stop the invasion from Africa. While giving plugs, let's give a plug for, uh, for the uh, other league, and the trio of leagues here, the British People's League, yours truly, Candor League, and then in America, in the Confederacy, we have League of the South, leagueofthesouth.com, leagueofthesouth.com. Dr. Hill gave a brilliant, brilliant oration at their annual meeting recently in July 2015, Dr. Hill being the president of the League of the South. Check it out. Okay, in memory, August 4th, 1979, there were two, uh, two births, and then I'm going to curve back to 1979, date August 4th. The births were, in, were not in 1979. Actually, 1979, I'm going to talk about a couple of deaths. So if I'm going in reverse, well, give me a break. I've had a lot of complications, and it's it's a struggle starting out fresh when you haven't done one of these YouTubes for a month or so. And this isn't just a casual YouTube where we're talking about bebop. We're talking serious business here, the salvation of our British root peoples, our roots, our ancestry, along with our European cousins, as we know, we're being invaded. So who was born August 4th, 1870? None other than Sir Harry Lauder, the great entertainer, born in Edinburgh, Scotland. Again, August 4th, 1870. Those who know their British roots, their British history, their Scottish history, their Scottish roots, know well of whom I speak, a great entertainer. During the First World War, he lost his son. I was raised in Toronto in a Scottish environment, English, a pinch of English in there too with my Geordie grand nan from Newcastle upon Tyne and the rest were Scottish, Scottish born as a matter of fact, father included. And in our Scottish co Croft home, the music Harry Lauder played every Sunday. My grandfather had the day off work, great old carpenter, great old Scottish carpenter he was. And he was a great fiddler. He won many, many uh, fiddling contests, Scottish country dance music, you name it. My grandmother on the piano. And yes, I, we can all relate to our history, our memories. But they're not going to do us much good if our, our bones are plowed under by mosques, bulldozers, or as they're doing with the graves of the Confederate ancestry, digging up the, the bones of General Forrest in the Old South. And that's just going to happen if we don't do something. So how do I relate that with, with the deaths of some famous people? In memory, August 4th, also August 4th, we have the Queen Mother, born August 4th, 1900 in Hitchin, UK. She died and passed away March 30th, 2002. Now, Sir Harry Lauder, born on August 4th, as I said, 1870. He died on February 26th, 1950. So the music, Harry Lauder, many of you out there will have been raised in the same if you've got the gray hair that I have. Now, Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mom, she also was born August 4th, 1900, died March 20th, 2002. The Queen Mother, loved by all of British stock, patriot, 
patriot British stock, that is, not talking the one-worlders and the multi-cult dingbats. We're talking true patriot love. The Queen Mother especially was known and respected during the blitz and the bombs were dropping. The bombs were dropping in the east end of London At great risk, the royal, the royal family stayed in Windsor Castle, as the Queen Mother was famous for saying, I can look the East Enders straight in the eye, the Cockneys, etc., as the bombs were killing Britons during the Blitz. The King was going to stay during the bombings. The Queen said, I, I cannot leave without the king and if I don't leave the children are staying as well so Princess Margaret Princess Elizabeth Elizabeth is now still the reigning queen after all these years they all stay in Windsor Castle during the war brave brave soul so August 4th also has a, a personal meaning to myself and those who still remember Canada's secret civil war 1978, 1979, 1980, a few years into the 80s. What is Dee talking about now? More of his imagination. Well, I'll tell you this. If there's any way anyone can get a transcript from a, a big radio station, CFRB out of Toronto, the night of August 4th, well, the early wee hours of August 4th, 1979, Eric Thorson, the broadcaster, had an unusual pause in his voice as he stated that and this is 2 a.m. August 4th, 1979 Eric Thorson, the broadcaster in CFRB stating that there has been an unusual accident on the road to Ottawa and he certainly paused when he said on the road to Ottawa and he said there were deaths at a very isolated and he really paused as he said isolated You'd almost think it was a coded message for people to hear on an isolated stretch of the road to Ottawa. Very serious car accident. Well, in uh, in the book Dee Dee's still working on, Canada's Secret Civil War 1979-2 with a question mark, which, by the way, is also being scrambled with more delay because when the computer crashed, things were not saved. As I've always cried for an administrative assistant to move up to Halliburton County, we'd even arrange for accommodation, but it, it, I guess it's never going to happen in my lifetime anyway. People just don't care until the invaders are right at the front door. But in any case, I don't take the blame for not saving everything on the computer. I just can't do everything, can we? Cry, 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 baby. In any case, I have notes to back up the uh, the book notes thus far. The introduction was saved by a good friend uh, outside of uh, outside of Halliburton County. August 4th, 1979, Eric Thorson made that broadcast. What would that be all about? So what? You know, there's accidents all the time. People pass away. But this particular accident a double of yours truly was in a car. A double? What's Beattie talking about now? <laughs> and uh, a policeman of an unnamed police force was following the car behind the double of John Beattie, going to Ottawa. You see, at that point, the aristocracy of Canada, the old aristocracy, had decided enough was enough with multiculturalism. They were going to take a stand the old families, and they did take a stand, and many died in the dead of night. Canada's secret civil war. So on the road to Ottawa, the purpose was, on reaching Ottawa, yours truly was to be making a broadcast, special equipment set up as to a new administration in Canada. Scholars could look up administrator under the British North America Act. Administrator. The key word here. When all other officials turn a blind eye or just aren't available, 
an administrator could run the affairs of Canada. But yes, I was to be a spokesperson for the old aristocracy of Canada. Why would they pick a, a wild lunatic like me? Well, let's put it this way. If good old Gordon Sinclair or Eric Thorson or Don Sherry or who have you <coughs> were making broadcasts about a new administration in Canada, who's going to believe them? But you put that lunatic John Beatty on the air, wow, it must be true. And as you know, throughout history, whoever gets on the air has the airwaves of a nation, and in fact, then, the, then there's the control of a nation. Yes, 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 the summer heat's getting beady, and he has these visions of grandeur. But I just had to do this show in memory of the men that died on the isolated stretch of the highway to Ottawa. They were to uh, get me there and do the broadcast uh, under the directions of the head, chief executive officer and president of one of Canada's oldest companies. There were bodyguards around this particular chief executive while he was waiting for yours truly to arrive to do the broadcast under his direction. A couple of the bodyguards slipped out for a pizza. While they slipped out, a Cuban slipped in another door to the executive offices and delivered what's called a Cuban necktie. They slit the executive's throat from ear to ear. When the bodyguards came back, they found their boss dead, but they did manage to nail the Cuban. Oh, hallucinations galore. That's just to spice up your interest in the book. And while typing, many times I'd say to people, who's going to believe this? It was kept so tight-lipped, so tight-knit. Who's going to believe it? One friend always shoved it at me. Regardless if the public believes it or not, John, it'll be entertaining. What, men died for entertainment, women died for entertainment? Well, we'll save that for the book. But it did go on. Uh, at the time, passed away Cardinal Emmett Carter, Archbishop of Toronto, Ontario, Canada. He blurted out a headline in the Toronto Star. If you do not know something is going on, then I do not know where you live. If you do not know something is going on, then I do not know where you live. Many past uh, uh, YouTubes, the earlier ones, would be going now, what, we're into our third year, have many references to the Civil War, Canada's secret Civil War. So I find it appropriate to remember those men that died August 4th, 1979, and also the significance of August 4th being the birth date of Sir Harry Lauder and the birth date of the Queen Mother years apart, of course, but still, that August 4th date has a lot of significance. And why I mention Harry Lauder and the Queen Mom, I mean, that's our history, our roots. Those in my age bracket, that's for sure. Of course, those born now could care less. There are some, there are some. I spend a lot of my time, well, I have to weed out the, the extremely rough element and, and make sure they all obey the law, keep things legal. They're patriots and they're frustrated, but you, they have to keep it legal. Even if forming underground cells, you have to keep it legal. There was an underground formed in Britain during the war to help save Britain and an underground in the European countries. So there's dramatic beat. He's still alive, still at it, folks. Still got this physical handicap of slight twitch, so cry, cry, cry. Hey, let's be optimistic. We're still here. Candor's still out there for us. League of the South is out there for us. So let's go with the roll. Let's go with the flow. And let's hope that we can get uh, these... Uh, YouTube's out to you more frequently as we originally had intended. But again, uh, donations dry up in the good weather, but I can't take it all out of my pension money, surely. Or maybe nobody cares. We'll prove that you care. Okay, folks. So for now, keep it legal. God save the Queen. God save the Queen. See you next time.